All right, we haven't seen enough of this guy, and uh, I love watching him when he's pitching. It's Trevor Rogers. Trevor, it's good to see you, man. Uh, I'm way too tardy on a happy new year. It's about 24 days past the due date there, but happy new year to you. How are you? It's a, it's a, it's a loaded question, but how you doing, man? How, are you ready for 2024? Oh, man, I'm so excited. Happy New Year's to y'all. Thank you. Right back at you. Um, but I'm, I'm so excited. Just with everything that happened last year injury-wise and how far we went and exceeding expectations and really couldn't be a part of that and contribute the way I wanted to. So um, off season was good, really just focused on getting healthy um, and getting stronger. So I'm, I'm really excited about where I'm at. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead up to where we are now and re refresh me. Did you have a history of injuries like in high school or anything, or were you always very healthy? I was always very healthy. So it was Definitely a new new experience. So for me. take me then through the frustrations of what you have experienced last year in particular, but to where you are now, feeling great. Yeah, it was just the first the first one, the little inflammation I had. It was, I guess, just something that I tried to calm down a little bit for the most part. I just wouldn't go away. So I think that injury was just probably let's shut it down before it gets even worse. So that one didn't really frustrate me. Um, it was the, the lat on my non-throwing side that just out of, out of nowhere, just put me out the rest of the year. That was a frustrating one. Cause the arm that I do my job with felt, felt great. Mm. Right, and, the perception's probably yeah. like, this guy's got a non-throwing shoulder lat injury. What's he doing? Why can't he pitch? How painful was it? It, it was, it was painful that I couldn't lift my arm above my shoulder that I, wow. I was stuck at 90 degrees for probably the first two months um, wow. and finally got finally got off a mound when we were in Philly for the playoffs. So really? it, it it was a long process, and it probably it took a toll on me mentally for sure, just not being out there and trying to help this team win like we were like we were doing. Do you feel I know when you go through we, we had multiple conversations with, specifically with pitchers about going through tough stuff. Uh, particularly earlier in their career, do you feel like you can almost use that to better yourself moving forward mentally when you go through something like that? You come out stronger. Do you feel stronger mentally coming out of it? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. It's something that definitely it tested me, and there's kind of a point where you start to feel a little bit sorry for yourself, yep. like, oh, why is this yeah. happening? But at the end of the day, that ain't, that's not going to help you. You, you. you have two choices. You can feel sorry for yourself or you can buckle up and get get – get to work so um as hard as it was like oh man this sucks i wish i was out there and it's like dude you got to get over it this is your reality and you got to work to get back to where you were who'd you lean on during that time really uh leaned on marius our sports uh mental skills coach he was the reason great. they have them the reason they have them yeah a lot of people outside the game don't realize how strong of a tool they are mm -hmm. as far as how long the season is but we would just talk and um, really just talk things out and see where I was at and really gave a different perspective of, of where I was mentally and really helped me for sure. And, and Mel, Mel, he stayed away for the most part because mm. he kind of knew where I was at mentally, uh, but he would check in on me every now and again to make sure I was doing, doing good. What fires you up the most about 2024? Uh, I'm feeling healthy. I mean, we got majority of the guys coming back. Um, majority of the coaching staff coming back and and I mean the offseason is still not done yet so yep. with the, the new people that we brought in I think they're gonna pull a couple more strings and really make make this team probably even better than we were last year um, I think probably the most exciting thing is we exceed a lot of expectations and probably 70 percent of the team never experienced that playoff atmosphere so we finally got that under our belt and like like, hey, we're we're a good baseball team. Mm -hmm. We're we're in a tough division, but we can compete mm -hmm. and we can win. So, um, I think we all have that experience, and it's going to be exciting. Where forward. where are you at? Sorry, in your off season throwing program. And I ask that because a lot of times guys coming off of injuries, there's markers you want to hit. We're like, okay, I threw it. I threw off the mound at seventy five percent. I didn't feel anything here. I didn't feel anything here. Ha, has have um, those nerves or concerns gone away as you've gone through the off season throwing program? Like, oh, I am healthy. It's not that I just think I'm healthy, but I'm throwing and I, I've got I'm a right. little giddy up here, and I am healthy. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you kind of have to toe that line of 
like we're doing this for seven months so i'm, I'm not chasing like oh my velo needs to be there it needs right. to be there for spring i'm letting it come to me uh, i know my body pretty well now and it takes me a while to get ramped up mm. um so how long is that an unfair question um probably it all depends on just because bullpens are so much different from being on the mountain competing right. in game right so probably spring training and just probably a couple here i'm not saying i'm gonna be 88 no of course of course i'll probably be low 90s and then slowly progress from there a little uh, feel and everything the feeling works. out make sure my body's where it needs to be and uh go from there let, let me ask you this. this is probably a little loaded and a little unfair i go back to 2020 saw you debut weird year COVID the whole nine yards 2021 you're an all-star in colorado and then push comes to shove you make four appearances last year in the injury this is probably where it's unfair where do you think you're at in your big league career it's it's a wild one right mm -hmm. it's not uncommon guys get hurt they're all stars and there's question marks like who's he gonna be do, mm -hmm. do, do you feel like you're going to be back and better than ever and even surpass that 2021 young Trevor Rogers as you've grown a little bit? Uh, I think that's the goal. Uh, I would be lying to you. I was like, oh, I don't think about that. But that's the goal every single year is to get back to where I was. But And it'd be even better, right? That absolutely. Was basically, be, uh, really, that was really yeah. your rookie year. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'd, co like my, my rookie year, like yeah. COVID, I don't even really – count that right. i think i made four or five starts yeah. so it was, i got i i debuted that was my debut year i guess if you want to put it that way but um i guess really to answer your question it all comes down to self-belief mm -hmm. and i'm sure i know what people are saying out there and they have a valid point like i've been hurt a lot can't stay healthy right now who am i going to be right um and it's a valid point Does it fire you up it fires me up for uh, sure because yeah. i know who i can be as a pitcher in this league and it's going to take a lot of hard work and i think especially my last full start against arizona in april went seven innings yep maybe gave up a run or so pitching really well really well and i'm like all right here we go let's let's get on the train let's go and fortunately that was it didn't turn out that way but no, of course. i knew i knew the direction i was heading based off of that so um i know where who i'm going to be and where i'm going what do you think it'll what, – what, what, what do you think the moment will be where you feel, like, confident and, like, I'm back? Is it uh, an inning or two in a spring training game? Is it two pitches into the regular season? Is it a full start? Is it a full month? Hard to answer. Obviously, you're not there yet. But do, do you feel like you'll – is there a particular moment you'll know, whether it's spring training or the regular season, like, oh, dude, I feel good and I'm just happy to be out here? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's – Probably a little both, because yeah. I knew uh, spring training last year, the first couple starts, obviously they're only one inning, then it's two yeah, innings. Yeah. So you're going to feel good about it. Um, but just where my body was, and I was starting to see little things in the game, like I was starting to read swings and what was I going to do based on what swing he did. And that was exciting for me. Um, that's the part people don't see. Yeah, that's that's the, the they just know every fifth day Trevor Rogers. Yeah. He's big. He's strong. A lefty. Mm -hmm. He can strike a bunch of guys out. But you were getting to a point in your career where you were like, like oh, I'm seeing the game. Yeah. yeah, from yeah when I debuted, all I saw was the the sign the catcher put down the glove. Right. And I was throwing to the glove. Right. I wasn't seeing the whole picture of the batter in the box, what he's doing. So I was starting to see that, and then had a really good spring shaky one star against the cardinals just wasn't myself right. we got back to it and then um arizona had okay starts against the mets but just wasn't there so i guess probably that third start um in the regular season because you get used to being in right. the bigger stadiums and the game's actually meaning something right. again so i'd say it's a it's a little bit of both what is your spring plan? Have they told you? Is it, Obviously, it's going to be a little bit different coming off an injury. Could you share any of that for spring? They really haven't told me much. Um, I'd probably, probably have a sit down with them sure. when spring starts. Um, probably and slow I'm, and steady. Not going to rush yeah, it, huh? Slow and steady. And I had a conversation with Mel a couple weeks ago, probably mm -hmm. a month ago. And he told me, like, you need to be patient with this thing. He's like, I know you you don't want to get be patient. And you want to get after it. And I, re I really took that to heart. Like, I really need to be patient. Like, I can't – I really can't afford with all the, the young, talented arms that we got here to 
to rush into things and mm. get hurt again. So I gotta gotta be realistic about this stuff. You told the story in a podcast against that uh, against the Mets, like you felt it and you were thinking about not saying anything. Mm-hmm. And Stallings said, "Yo, mm-hmm. uh, Skip, let's go. Come mm-hmm. out here. I see something." Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. He he saved me from myself. So um, yeah, that was I felt something. I didn't want to say it because um, I've pitched through it before, like high school. Yeah, um, and. He saw something, and that's just – he's been in the game a long time. He's seen plenty of pitches, and he knew that something was up. So, yeah, he, he saved me there. you guys feel a burden with Sandy out this year? Everybody feel like they got to step up a little bit, or is that unfair? If you do that, that's when things go sideways. You just got to be yourself. Uh, I think at the back of your minds, like, man, he, he was our horse. Like, he ate up a lot of innings. But, I mean, last year when Sandy went down – Lozardo, Braxton, and even Yuri, those three guys, especially Lozardo and Braxton the whole year, they were they were our guys, man. They picked up the slack. Yeah. They did un- mm-hmm. unbelievable jobs, and it was really fun to watch those guys pitch. And then Yuri comes in the, in the big leagues and just starts dominating right away. So it's, uh, it's at the, I'm sure it's at the back of your mind. Like, like we were going to have to carry the burden. Like Sandy's out, but it also gives you kind of like – confidence like okay i want to see if i can be that guy sure doors open right Door, doors open um and it gives you the confidence like okay let me see who i can really be type of deal all right let's get him off the hot seat no more baseball questions. yeah kyle <laughs> tells me that. you're 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 a heck of a golfer when was yes. the last time you played and and give us a give me a little scouting report i've never seen you golf mm-hmm. but like what's your game hits at a mile hits yeah i <laughs> i the the best round i ever shot was in abacoa um, last summer, I shot a 74. Come on. Every, wow. Everything was getting in the cup. I mean, the, <laughs> the flat stick was hot. Short game was hot. <laughs> everything was hot, man, I tell you. Even the weather. E- even the weather. My girlfriend was there. I was even telling her she's hot. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> it was just a, da- a damn good day all around. But A 74? <laughs> 74, man. 74. I was like, did I'm coming qu- back tomorrow. Did you question a career shift <laughs> oh, here? Yeah, Are we I'm going on say, tour? Yeah, like, oh, Getting I'm a gonna, swing coach? Coming back tomorrow. Bam, 86. I'm like, ah, oh, there it is. There, there's the 86. Wow, yeah. a 74. Uh, I've never still haven't shot that best. Holy cow, and the career accomplishments. All-star yeah. games, a 74 in golf. Uh, what, uh, any, any, uh, any developments in the big city of New Mexico, in the state of New Mexico this offseason? What do we got going on? Oh, quiet state. Pickleball? Quiet, quiet, quiet state. state. Pickleball and uh, – Actually, in the where I'm at now in uh, Lubbock, Texas, they're uh, oh, you're that's right, you're yeah. Right. They're uh, they're building a whole bunch of new stuff at the university, at the the new football stadium. Mm. They just finished a new baseball facility, so I've been. been well, is that where you work yeah. out a little bit? Mm-hmm. Are yep. You uh, taking any Red Raider football games? Oh yeah. Do you? Yep. Who's, who's your coach? team though? Yeah, who's coaching there? By the way, do we? I'm, I don't, don't know. On the spot on on football. I don't know. They don't always know. have that air raid offense. The air raid mm-hmm. offense. Mm-hmm. Cool Mike stadium. Lee's the red Lee's and Lee. the black. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. But yeah, he's a. Uh, I saw a couple on uh, on TV. Obviously, I didn't make it out to any games, but uh, I'm really really into our basketball team this year. I think we're going to be Texas. Was that your team growing up? Texas yep. Tech. Texas Tech. Because yep. that was the closest mm-hmm. to home. Mm-hmm. Ooh, interesting. How's the football uh, basketball team doing? All right. We're twentieth in top twenty-five. We are four and one in conference, and I think we've lost only two, three games this year. You're not messing around. You catch them all, don't you? Oh yeah. They had that Final Four run. When was that? 2019. They went to the Natty, and Virginia got them. That's right. Did you build the place? You buy a place out there in Lubbock? Yeah, uh, bought a place. It was actually my aunt's. Uh, really? Yeah, and she was trying to downsize, so I bought it from her, and it's been. Perfect. Now, Nardi bought a place. We were chatting with him, and he tells me he's handsy, he's toolsy, he wants to do some home improvement projects. You Are you dabbling in such? We, building sheds out back, mounting TVs on walls? you the handyman around the house, uh, or what's I'm, the deal? I'm, I'm getting better. I've uh, mounted some TVs, All right. changed the ceiling fans, okay. changed some outlets. Okay. Um, hit the breaker before we did that, or yeah, you get a little... Breaker, All right. the breaker, you, I'd be, <laughs> hand would be black and crispy if I would came back here. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's it's been good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh goodness, Trevor! It's great to chat with you, and uh, I say this in the best ways. I hope I don't get to chat with you much in the season because you're out there kicking ass yeah. every five days, Thanks, and yeah. uh, you're in the zone. And uh, we'll catch you when we can, dude. But yeah. thanks for the time. Yeah, it's been great to be back.